we have a problem here. You got my order confused with somebody else who doesn't give it. I asked for iced tea. Don't you know the difference between iced and hot? I-C-E-D. Look it up in a dictionary. Jesus, what's wrong with you? They cut your balls off to work here? Get a life. Have a teaceful day. Teaceful day? Eat a bag of Someone have to put a suit on Please throw me a funeral One day a year I'll lie here on the futon And I hope You can make it on Friday And I know It's short notice And I know I always do this but you're invited to my birthday party Cause ain't no one gonna throw it for me Why should I expect things just to happen? That's what any holiday is about It's blank, you just get out what you put back in If you don't decorate the scene on May Day or on Halloween Come on in. Nice of you to show up. Helma's in the back waiting. At least Mark had a real job. Hey. Why didn't you call? Work was busy. Sam called in and I was stuck there alone. All you had to do was text. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Just text. Forget it. It's fine.
change it. What if you can change everything? We're not gonna hurt you. It's just something important we need to discuss. You are a very lucky man, Doug. You're special. Most people spend a lifetime making mistakes, but you know exactly what the root of all your regrets is. You made the wrong choices. You went to the wrong school. You nearly drank yourself to death. What is this? October 25th, 2014. I ruin everything I touch. Nothing makes me feel good anymore. You stole my journal. No, I have the completed copy. I'd let you read it just to prove it to you. But it gets pretty dark there toward the end before you kill yourself. Because that is what you're gonna do, isn't it? You see, Doug, we are from the future. You! I know this is a lot to process. But I have been sent here to give you a chance to change everything in your life. Now that would be a great opportunity, wouldn't it? I guess. What do you want from me? I need your help. Why? You have a need. Your life is a disaster. Do you remember that application you wished you'd sent to MIT? In this timeline, you never sent it. Your entire future hinged on one moment. It's gone. I can change that. I can change everything. What would I have to do? We need you to kill someone, Doug. What? We need you to kill someone, Doug. No, no, bad, no. You guys, I want to go. The van's not moving. We're not holding you down. You're free to leave whenever you want. Why do you think I would kill someone? Because you're desperate. You do anything for the hope of something good, no matter what the cost. If I say no, then this was all a bad dream. We take you back to where we found you. We take you back to all this. And if I say yes? You give us what we need, and we give you what you've always wanted. What do you need from me now? I just need you to tell me. Yes? Or no? Yes. We thank you for your time and we look forward to working with you. Can I just sign it? Fine.
Look, reading this would take me forever. You don't want to talk, and I'm not going to press that, but could you just answer some yes or no questions for me? Me signing this means that I will do my part. That also uh, means that you guys aren't going to screw me over, right? If I sign this, and I do the things it says I have to, your organization will do what I was told last night and make a better version of my life somehow? Cool. You got a pen? That's it? That's it? Hey buddy, what's up? Who are you? Why are you in my house? Jesus, that was, that was you. Mm. I thought, I thought that was like your face or something. Why? It was dark, but the other guys that got the... No, 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 no. I'm human. So, what are we, what are we doing today? Uh, we, uh, 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 looking at some porn. Uh, how did, how did you get into my house? Same way I did yesterday. You see, in 10 years, they're going to come out with this device they'll allow you to open any old-fashioned lock. Really? No. <laughs> Your back door is unlocked. Cool sword. Oh. <laughs> you sounded a lot more professional last night. Uh, really? You thought so? Thanks, man. That means a lot to me. Did you steal my dad's whiskey? Oh, yes. Yes. I mean, Found it when I was coming in. You know what? It's your house. You open it, baby. I can't. <laughs> Seriously, come on. No. You know that they don't even make this anymore when I'm from. I'm gonna need to be straight with you. You're gonna wanna drink up? Well, you can't. Because you only have like three and a half days left, including today, and it's what? Two o'clock? How late did you sleep in? Three and a half days left? Yeah. Did you not read the contract? Does anybody read those? <sighs> yeah, dude. I skimmed it. What you apparently skimmed over is the fact that you have exactly three and a half days left until, you know, What, is, what does that mean? Your consciousness and physical form cease to exist. What? Your consciousness and physical form... No, I, I know. I thought you said my life would get better. It will. Sort of. What the f man? You lied to me. You said my life would get better. You should have read the contract, bud. We'll fix it. Just promise me that you won't make me explain time travel because it's very confusing and it'll just cause an argument. 
How is deleting me fixing anything? No, I'm not. I'm not doing this. So I won't exist. <sighs> no. I, yes. No. No. Yes. You will exist. Just not this you. Okay. Can we just accept the fact that this is going to work? You're going to get everything you want. We are going to get everything we want. My company has done this like, literally like a trazillion times. I, just, it's going to work out. It's a done deal. But that didn't explain no, anything. No, 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 stop, 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 please. You could have no, 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 I don't, I don't, so no, 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 I am done talking about this, okay? Seriously, it, no more words from you. No, there's nothing else to say, okay? If everything is in three days, why are you here now? Because, like, this is the only time that I get to just, like, chill and be a regular dude. Plus, I gotta make sure that you don't run off on us. Do you smoke? You can't smoke in here. Oh, why not? Because my parents, this is their house. They're not it's here. When are they gonna get back? Five days. And you only have three. Point taken. Wait, I need proof that you're from the future. No, you don't. So it's your word or nothing? Pretty much. That's a bummer, man. <laughs> I know, right? Dude, I'm supposed to work tomorrow. Don't do it. That feels weird, though. I mean, if you have three days left, is that really what you want to do? I mean, it is up to you. If you like it there. No, I hate it. It retail is I never had to do it. It's like everything in the world is your fault, and Everyone knows they're better than you and only come in because they need to sh on somebody. And you want to go and do that? No. As long as you don't get arrested or killed in the next three days, you are free to be whoever you want. Free to sleep with whoever you want. Drink as much as you can live through. How is this not exciting to you? I don't drink. I have a girlfriend. And she cheats on you, and she leaves you. It's all in here, bud. Let me read it. No, it, it's just gonna depress you. This should be about having fun, not wallowing in misery. Let's make these last days count, right? Yeah? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to bed, and I'm actually going to sleep in. Okay, all right. That's good for a start. Now, why don't you go upstairs, take a little 20 minute recharge. When you come back, why not we go to the bar? Try to look for some strange. Yeah, something? You ever heard of a donkey punch? I mean, I don't know. I'm not into that, but you might be. I don't care. There's no consequences. Look, I'm, I'm going to bed. Look, I've done this more times than I'm willing to admit, but I don't want you to have the same regrets at the end. I know you might not let loose the way that I do, but I just, I just want to make these moments mean something. I appreciate it. Yeah. Here. Hold on to this for me, so nobody bothers me. Oh. Hey, what if somebody texts? Tell them they can go f themselves. <sighs> Thank <laughs> you.
Dude, I feel amazing right now. I haven't slept that good in forever. Good for you. I have been awake all night texting everybody you know to go and themselves. You actually did that? I didn't think you'd actually do that. Say what you mean, man. I was joking. Your dad thought it was pretty funny. He seems like a cool guy. Your boss and your girlfriend didn't take it that way, but whatever. So, what are we doing today? We? We. I need some time to process all this. Can you just leave me alone for a while? No, no way. I don't have any money. All they gave you was a van? You think that's our van? You don't have any idea how hard it is to get here, do you? I have no way of knowing that. I mean, I don't really understand it entirely myself, but I know there's no way you're getting a van through there. If you don't even know how you got here, what good are you? I made you agree to the contract. Can we get some food? It's lunchtime. Yeah. Don't bother coming in today. Cool. Guess I don't have to go to work. I'm coming over. What? Oh, Who's coming over? Alma. I mean, you told her to go herself. I can't possibly be held responsible for that. All this. is going to be real hard to explain. Mm, I don't know. Um, just don't answer the door. When did she send that? 15 minutes ago. But she can't drive. Ooh. Is she a child? No. She's, she's probably riding her bike. It's gonna take her like half an hour. I'm hungry. <laughs> Doug, I know you're home. Your car is here. Doug? Hey, it's a 1269. What? It's a number nine and the number 15 is 1269. Really? Yeah. Doug, your food is here. Will you please open the door now? Sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, let me just get your change. You're good. Wait, really? Okay, thanks. Oh, sorry. Bye. What the hell, Doug? I was hungry. You know what I mean. What is going on with you? I've been thinking a lot, all right? Then talk to me. I'm right here. Are you? Yes. Even if you don't make it easy. You always get so... What? Mopey. Self-absorbed. Oh, I'm the self-absorbed one? You know, you used to be fun. You used to actually want to do things other than talk about how sh everything is. Sorry, I'm such a downer. I forgot you were all sunshine since Mark left. You're being an Is that why you came here? To fight with me? No, I came here to find out what was wrong because I care about you. Did you not get that I was upset before? I bet your sandwich is getting cold. It's a cold sandwich. It's getting less cold. Well, what do you want me to say? Tell me you're done with me. Fine. You know what? You can just go with- Myself? Yes. Great, cool. Thanks for stopping by. Well? At least she's polite. Whatever. You said she was gonna break up with me anyway. No, you said she was gonna break up with you. In your journal. Catch. Do I ever get to read my journal? Do you really want to? Yeah.
buddy. Yeah? Can you bring me that whiskey? Yeah, sure. Sad sack of shit, huh? You read the whole thing? Yeah. So that ending stuff didn't sound that different than the stuff I've been writing. I can't deal with that. Let's go do something. You don't need some time to process or anything? That's what the whiskey's for, right? Sure. Let's go get some pizza. Really? What? We had pizza yesterday. You're not gonna answer that? No. Why not? This is this guy I used to know. He got really into drugs and I didn't. What kind of drugs? Hey Kyle. Yeah, dude, I'm sorry. Hey, would you maybe want to grab some, uh, Crunchy's fried chicken? This is wolf eyes. Do you hear that? Good, right? Remember I get home and just need to, like, zen the fuck out. This is the shit that I put on. Why need you just pass right out, you know? You need to learn to answer your phone. Yeah, I know. I've just been busy. <laughs> busy doing what? Working at a tea shop? <laughs> I need more. Oh, snap. You quit? He told his boss he can go himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, by the way, man, I'm Justin. Hey, what up, boy? You one of his college fucking drinking buddies or something? Yeah, yeah. I'm just like in town for a week just to get up with this guy. Let me guess. These two big guys are like fraternity. Pledges. Oh, fucking yeah. crazy, right? <laughs> anyway, what the are you guys up to tonight? I don't know. We could light up and play video games or something. It's my last week of probation, though. I don't want to fuck that up. Dude, that sounds super sh Dude, you don't even know. For the last like two months, I've had people up my ass about making deliveries for them and shit. Meanwhile, I'm sitting back at home and I'm like, just wait it out, Kyle. Deliveries? What's that about? I just pull up. Sometimes I get out of the car, we trade money for whatever. Easy peasy. But now I got a record, and if I get caught, that would blow. What if we help you out? Seriously? Fuck, I would for sure cut you guys in if you wanted to do a delivery for me. I've been trying to get this guy to help me for like two weeks. I got this All right, for a guy, super illegal. Like, holy. That doesn't sound that bad. Take me to my house. I'll call the guy right now. Save Pete. Yeah, I don't know. No, no, I, I, I think we should. Because what if when he shows up and he's like, how much is in here? And then we're like, uh, I don't know. Then we don't, we're gonna fuck up the whole deal. You got to be in control of the situation, right? All right.
the hell is that? I mean, what do, you, do you think it's like heroin or something like fucking crazy? I don't know. Dude, should I wash my hands? I don't, I don't know. Oh, oh shit, shit. Uh, hey, Kyle. Yeah, I'm gonna put you on speaker. All right, guys, you just uh, hang tight. He should be there in five or ten. He knows what your van looks like, so he knows you're not cops. Should be all gravy. Dude, this is like a real drug deal, bro. It's like I'm a player. What? Never mind. Marcus. Hey. Hey, Justin. Justin? It's a real pleasure. Uh, Doug. Doug? I'm Marcus. Uh, oh. Hey, gentlemen. How you doing? So, you guys are the guys with Kyle? Yeah. 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 Kyle, where are you at? I'm the phone. Just give him the money. The stuff's in the envelope. Huh? You want me to have him count it or anything? I trust you. As you should. Well, gentlemen, appreciate it. Have a good night. Uh, yeah, you too. Uh, thank you. <laughs> All right. Enjoy, enjoy that. Did you leave? Yeah. Cool. All right, I'll see you guys back at my house. Hmm. I'll be honest. It's a little bit of a letdown. Yeah. Like. Uh, maybe I've played too many video games, but like, uh, was, he was a real nice guy. That was, was not what I expected. He was nice. Yeah, it was like so tame. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I kind of feel cool right now, but I feel pretty safe. We are going to keep the money though, right? No. <sighs> Why not? Guys. I can hear everything you're saying. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I'm just kidding, though. Right, buddy? All right, I'll see you guys back at my house. All right, let's roll. Dude, did you see Marcus's shoes? Dude, I everything about that guy was so good. They were good. so cool. I, re like, <laughs> I really feel like I should get something like that. Like, I'm kind of sick of these. You're gonna steal from me? Oh. Yeah. I'm f around. Get the fuck in here. <laughs> just in your face. All right, all right. All right you just right. in your face, too. Uh, Come on. Oh, all right. You boys really came through today. You know that? Godspeed. This is for you, handsome boys. There you go. Seriously? I mean, all we did was... Thank you. Not a problem. So, boys, what's the plan? You want to go on multiplayer, fucking uh, cyber bully some 12-year-olds? Yeah, that sounds cool. You live here with your parents? Yeah. I mean, are they pretty healthy? Oh, dude. I know what you're getting at. My dad's bipolar, and he's got these pills. Why don't we have a party? <laughs> what? Who the fuck? I mean, fuck it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck Who it. The fuck is this fuck guy? it. <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh, dude, no. not here. Not here, dude. This guy knows this place. Blows. All right. I was thinking my house. Uh, your place kind of sucks too. Not if we just load it with booze. Who the fuck is this guy? Dude. Who did you replace this guy Dude, with? Right? You see? What? This is the patented method right here. This is in the system, hey, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm proud of you. Dude, so, what about those tall, lurch mother? 
The white face guys. The pledges. Let's get them to take us to the store. Let's I'm on it. it. I'm gonna go fire it up. Let's fire it up, do boys. It. So who's coming? I don't know. I mean, I don't even know who to invite. Why? I haven't talked to anybody but Alma in like six months. Really? I don't know. I just didn't think anybody wanted to see me. Dude, have you even tried talking to anybody? Look, I'll text some people. All right? Give me a... Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's a girl's too! You all right? Yeah, of course. I, uh, I haven't been around people in a long time and I don't really feel that comfortable. You wanna do a shot? Yeah, let's do it. Toasted? Sure. Say la mort. What does that mean? I don't know. I always thought it was uh, here's to death, but a French guy told me I was wrong. Something about death. <laughs> All right, so. Casey's coming. He's bringing a bunch of people. I'm buying the pizza. Uh huh. You guys pre-gaming? Yeah, get this. Get in here. Right on, right on. Full times. Man, it's good to see you. <laughs> I haven't seen you this relaxed in like forever. Tonight is gonna be awesome! Woo! Ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Hey, how you been? Yeah, I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? Yeah, you're good. Hey, man. Are you texting? Uh, I'm texting this girl. Really? Yeah. How's that going? Is she coming over? She's like, she's one of my ex's younger sister. But she's so fucking awesome. Oh, sounds awkward. Dude, it, it fucking was. <laughs> I mean, she always commented on all my Facebook statuses and she liked my Instagram posts. She always wore these, these yoga pants. And she was really into like, the Olivia Tremor Control and like uh, the subhumans. So and is human. she coming over? Dude, I think she is. Yes.
Hey. Hi. Hey. Wow, you showed up. Well, I said I would. You did. Is my sister coming? No, I, I didn't invite her. <laughs> but you invited me. I always thought you were cooler. Well, you're not wrong. Uh, you, uh, you want something to drink? Yeah, I'll have one. Cheers. <laughs> I didn't know you were drinking again. Yeah, I, I've had a really rough week. Really rough day, regardless. What happened? I'm single now. I'm probably gonna die in like two days. What? Yeah, Alma broke up with me this morning. <laughs> no, the other part. It's probably for the best anyway. I mean, like 90% sure she was cheating on me. That's Sorry. What the f dog? You, you never thought about it? What? Look, I just always thought you were so attractive. Always? Yeah. Since like the, the moment I saw you, I was like, holy sh why am I dating Brittany? That is my sister. I know. So I couldn't just be like, hey, Anna, you're the perfect girl. Want to hang out sometime? I'm dating this other girl, but it's probably not going to last that long because she's awful. How drunk are you? It doesn't matter. The point is, I just really want to kiss you right now. You're so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go. Take yeah. this drink. You probably put something in it anyway. Creep. We're leaving. Don't we? I didn't put anything in it. I'm not a creep. Creepy. It's okay. Anyway, man, I gotta get out of here. It's really good seeing you. Yeah. You should answer your calls sometime, man. I miss you. I will. Alright. Here you go, buddy. Is that your jam? Is that your flavor? What did I do? You were there. I know I was. I just... I don't remember anything, and I feel like Well, let's see. You chugged about a quart of whiskey, even though you haven't drank in forever. And then you tried to get with your ex-girlfriend's baby sister, which, when she invariably freaked out, that's when you carved that huge X into your chest. What? Don't worry. Only the guards and I know. Then we went out and had those awesome slushies. The guards and I carried you to your bed and tucked you in. That's where I found this gem. You 
fucked yourself up. When did that happen? I don't know, probably midnight-ish. Holy sh**. I'm such a f***ing idiot. Look, nobody's in jail. It all turned out fine. There's no reason to worry. I just don't like drinking, okay? I always do the stupidest shit. You were pounding liquor last night. What do you mean you don't like drinking? I have a problem. I get really nervous that I have to be around people and I just drink. I drink and drink until I don't have to think about it. Everything's fine. Let's move on. You don't know what I did. Four years ago? Yeah, I do. There's a reason they picked you out. You. Do you have any idea how that feels? Yeah. Even if I didn't actually hurt her, I scared her. I, I don't... I don't even remember doing it. I don't remember anything about it, so I can't even learn from it. It sucks. It's the kind of thing that makes somebody want to sign a contract and really make sure they're dead. What do you want me to say here? Nothing. There's nothing you can say. I just shouldn't be around people, you know? I just always f*** it up. Did you ever really try to talk to them to make it better? I don't want to bother anybody more than I already have. People move on with their lives. Why can't you? I just can't, okay? I have watched people die. And I can tell you, in that final precious moment, they're not thinking, oh, what about that guy who was a dick to me in college? They think about beautiful things. They think about people they love. So what? It doesn't mean anything. It is meaningful if it means something to you. But there is nobody else on this planet waking up, walking around, and cursing your fucking heart except for you. Well, I do. You tell me. You've had enough time to dwell on it. This box is where I catalog my day-to-days. This box has lists of everything I've done wrong and everything I need to fix. I felt like I needed to start keeping a record of all my ups when everyone stopped talking to me in college. I need this. So I never forget that I owe a debt to everyone. Oh. What's in this box? Just ideas. Ways I can make it up to people, you know? Like how? I mean, it mostly involved getting rich or and buying people cars or houses or whatever. But some, some of it was different. Uh, just, Organizations, ways to help lots of people. Seems a little crazy. Yeah. I mean, a, a little, yeah, but I, I mean, some of these were really good ideas. Like, um, like in this one. Uh, I wanted to make a hotline for people who just needed someone to talk to who wouldn't judge them. I mean, that's, that's really what I needed when I was up at school. Yeah. That, that sounds like a really good idea. I just, I mean, I just never knew how to get it started. And I can't fund it myself. Oh, shit. I could crowdfund it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait, are you... Are you actually thinking about trying this? I always thought about it. It just never seemed like the right time. I, this is, this is how you want to spend your last day on Earth. Tomorrow, all of this is gonna be gone. I can't disappear without ever trying. I need to do this. I need to do this. I need coffee first. I 
I'm calling it Drunk Dial. Sounds catchy, I guess. Hi, uh, is this the Counseling and Wellness Center? Hi, uh, this is Doug Erickson. It... Yes, hi, uh, that Doug Erickson. I, I was... Uh, I was wondering if you guys could help me out. Uh, I'm starting up a project, and I would like the school to lend a hand. Uh, and I was wondering if there were some people that you could connect me to. Hey! Dude, they connected me with the Dean! It's... this is gonna be great! Cool. Hi, Emily. Thanks for taking my call. Uh, so... It's a non-profit hotline called Drunk Dial, and you can call it um, if you need counseling, you need referrals, you need help, or you just want to talk to somebody. I'll email you guys all of the information, and thank you so much for helping me out. Hi, uh, is this AJ? Yeah, uh, yep, this is Doug. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry about, I'm sorry about the way that I quit. I'm really sorry about that, um, but... I know. Listen, uh, the reason that I left was because I'm starting up a non-profit organization. Yeah, uh, and so, uh, what I was wondering is if you guys would like to donate anything. Anything that you guys donate, I will match. If you could just let everybody else know about it, I appreciate it so much. Thank you. I'm sorry, again. Holy sh**. What? She donated. Who donated? The girl, the one that matters. She left a comment. This is a great cause. I wish you the best. I did it. Yeah. I mean, I never thought I could do anything that- I'll be honest with you, neither did I. Thanks. This you, I mean. No, you're right. I could have done this four years ago, I just... But I really did something, you know? I really did. Yeah, man. It's good. It's really good. It's only five o'clock. Now, can we do something fun? I finally did something worthwhile, and it'll all be gone tomorrow. Yeah, it's a doozy. Wanna get some food? What would you do? What? If you only had one night left, what would you do? Probably get hammered drunk and... hit up a bunch of strip clubs. Break something expensive? Really? I don't really want to talk about this. I guess I... could apologize for a lot of things. People that used to be my friends. To my family. You remember when you said when you do something wrong, you just apologize again and again and again until you felt like you couldn't do it anymore. I didn't do anything. I did some sh but it's nobody's fault for giving up on me. People's feelings are their business. They're not just gonna take me back into their life because I just apologize suddenly. You don't do a job like this because because it's fun, because it's not. I have really serious contractual obligations. Plus, someday I'm gonna go back to my time and get my brains blown out because I sneezed on the wrong cat or something. Jesus. Are people forcing you to do this? No. Anyway, ma'am, thanks for being so reasonable about all this. A lot of people just spend a week sobbing. Plus, if it's any consolation to you, 
Think about what you accomplished today in one day. Imagine if you'd worked this way your entire life. You're making the right choice though. Resetting is the best option for you. Is it? So I have to kill someone now? <clears throat> I, don't, I don't want to talk about that until I absolutely have to. I mean, am I going to have to choke this guy? Or are you going to give me a gun? Please, or please, what? Please, 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 don't worry about it. I'll tell you anything. Everything you need to know in the hour leading up to it. I do not want to have to explain this to you sober. Your phone's going off. Alma says she wants to talk. Talk to her. Nobody wants to die alone. Hey. You saw that? I thought you deleted your Facebook. Yeah, I don't know. I I just couldn't deal with that stuff anymore without doing something about it. I'm sorry about what I said. Really? Uh, can you hang on for just one second? If I pick her up, can I be by myself? No. If she comes over, can we be alone? You want to have some private time alone with the woman? I think we can manage that, just... Make sure that she leaves in the morning, okay? Hey, uh, sorry, there's something up with my car. Would you mind riding your bike back over? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's, it's nice out at least. I'll see you soon. Don't worry, I'll... Make sure we find a place to hide out. Thanks. Hey, Doug? Yeah? Take a f shower. Smell like Barney Fife's ball sack. Pretty yucky. Hey. What happened here? Uh, Kyle came over and he invited a bunch of people. And you still hang out with Kyle? Well, it had been a while. I kind of missed him. Oh, well, did you have fun? Not really. That's too bad. It's fine. I hate parties. Yeah, me too. I'm Listen, really... Doug you can go first. Okay. I saw what you posted today. I'm proud of you. Really? Honestly, it was inspiring. I just... I needed to talk to you about what happened yesterday. We broke up, right? Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. I haven't really been there for you. I've been working at a job I hate and taking it out on my life. And last night was the first time I hung out with anybody in like six months. I got you stuck in my rut. I'm sorry. Doug. What? You're doing it again. Doing what? You want to make this your fault. But it is. It's my fault too. 
been in a void for the last six months. What do you mean? Ever since the divorce, it's like I don't know who I'm supposed to be anymore. My whole life I wanted to be something. Then I met Mark and I changed into what I thought I was supposed to be. Now I just need to figure out who I was when I was happy. I never wanted you to be anyone except for the girl I knew before college. I wish we could go back. We can't go back, Doug. The way things were, they just weren't working. So what do you want to do? Just be there for each other while we figure out who we are again. That... That sounds good. I thought... I thought all I could do is ruin stuff, you know? I just want to be a good person. You are a good person. I really didn't mean that stuff I said. It's fine. You were angry. So was I. I'm going to... I would have really missed not having you here. I think everything's gonna be okay. I haven't thought that in a really long time. What is it? It's nothing. I'm just pretty tired. Would you mind if, if we just laid here for a while? Okay. to ride your bike back. It's okay. I like it. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> I'll text when I get home. Cool. I'll talk to you soon. things we have to discuss today. I need a minute. There's something I want to do first. Okay. Hey, Mom. Yeah, I just wanted to see what you guys were up to. Just wanted to ask about your day. Sounds fun. Everything's going fine here. Yeah, I, I gotta go. I love you too. 
Have fun. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a seat. Give me a minute. I don't want to drink. So yeah. This is the hard part. It's like... Okay, you're a nerdy guy, right? Sure. So, you understand that time travel, there can be these paradoxes. It's not just one big timeline. So in order for you to become the you, you will be, I need to make some changes in your past. So. Make sure that it looks like it's been filled out appropriately. Wow. Yeah, that's all right. That's pretty close to my dad's handwriting. And as per our contractual agreement, I had to show you that before we can move on the next part. What's the next part? What you have to do for us. Last night, a man was born who will be raised by an abusive father. So he grows up to be a horrible cutthroat. You want me to kill a f baby? No, it's, it's not like that. Uh, my company has a techniques where they can model the best possible outcome. In this case, that means you killing the father. The mother remarries, the son grows up to be a, a businessman, but not a psychopath. I don't think I can actually kill someone. Yeah, it's, it's not gonna be easy. I get it. You should be thankful because sometimes it's good people who have to die. What if I say no? I think you and I both know it's no longer an option. You're forfeit to us, and you will do the job. I won't. Can you just, can you just give us a minute? I need to handle this alone, please. What is going on? I know what I agreed to do. Then do it. No, I, I can't. I don't even want to anymore. Please, go with me on this. What is your deal? If there's something you want to say to me, just say it. I can't. I'm as much of a liability as you are. Why do you think there's two guards? But this is stupid. They can make every you that has ever existed go away, erased. Is that what you want? I don't want to shoot someone who doesn't deserve it just so I get a good deal. But that's exactly what you agreed to four days ago. I, I have a life now. I can do anything I want. You could have done anything you wanted to before. You could have done anything you ever dreamed of doing before this one point. You can't make me do this. One day of fundraising 
for a project you wouldn't even know how to manage and all your sins are pardoned? You think that changes what you are? I think you and I both know this is the ending that you have earned. Or are you gonna f this up too, Doug? You're a really sh person, you know that? Oh yeah, yeah! We're not even friends. Cause you're a f up. And you'll always be a f up. And I will always be here telling you that again. Because no matter what, you and I end up here. Just tell me what I have to do. At 1 p.m., Ken Adams and his wife arrive home. The wife takes their newborn baby inside the house and Ken walks around the back. You follow him and you shoot him and he dies and you disappear and the crime remains unsolved. Think you can do that? I guess we'll see. And then, when it's all done, I've switched the applications in the middle of the night and everything changes. Sounds. Perfect? Sure. Doug, try not to f this up too. We're done. Why do they wear those masks? It's better than if they didn't. Trust me. I'm gonna need you to do something a little f***ed up. What? Your favorite toy when you were a kid. I need you to go get it. Which favorite toy? It says here it's a stuffed bear. Why? Just do it. Just be careful with it. It's it's from the eighties. Have have those always been there? I don't know. Probably. Still need to get the gun.
I gotta make a call. You can take care of that, right? Sure. <laughs> yeah, I know. At least that's finally done with. Need hospitals. Smell like death. Yeah. So how's the game? How are we doing? Already? Where's the hospital bull now this? Hang on, Marty. I can't do this. Hey, do I can do this. Who the fuck are you? Not you. Well, hang on. I can't fucking do hey, this. Hey, you looking to get your ass kicked? I don't want to hurt you. What the f did you say to me? You okay out there? Yeah, yeah, just stay inside. I gotta go, Marty. I gotta go kick some crackhead's ass. Hey, look at me when I'm talking to you. Just stop me. I want to complete redo Maybe change my name Report the losses, grab the claim It's a shame, it's such a shame We're pissing away our time Cause we're pissing away these beers No monumental moment ever came from saying Come on dude, just take one more shot Try to, try to forget That your bones will dismantle and the dreams I could just move away or go extinct like Triceratops But I love loving watching movies Sitting back and also breathing My family and friends would be crushed But is it enough? Oh, no, it's not enough. oh the future freaks me out But I guess I could just curl up in a ball And then try to, try to forget 
that you're born.